Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dark Cloud. In the last episode, we um, found a ruby and a peridot. I'm going to go ahead and use those on my sham shear. Um, what does this do? This gives 5 attack, 10 holy... 10 beast and 10 plant uh, plant monsters. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And what does this do? Okay, so it it gives us 10 speed, 10 fire, and 10 mimic. I don't think we need that. Um, if we go to the build up and check. We need Attack, Endurance, MP, Ice, Wind, Holy, Beast, Metal, and Ghost. Ice, Wind, and Holy. Do we have any of that? I think I'm going to use Wind and upgrade that. I also got the abs up for Zhao's Wooden Slingshot. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to do is activate the ice by pressing X. And what that does is now that it's activated, Zhao's slingshot can do ice damage to monsters, which is pretty cool. In fact, I can, uh, I can increase that amount by adding some ice and, uh... What else do I want to do? Maybe undead? Why not? Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I also want to go to the hag's house real quick to get some power up powder. I just want to get one. There we go. And I'm going to use the attack and maybe a beast. Wait, what does this do? This is an emerald. Gives us NP. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use the emerald. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. We just used our power-up powder. Look at that! We're looking pretty good here. Uh, 37 attack versus... You know, these weapons don't do that much damage. Um, so that's pretty good. I think we're ready for the boss. So let's go ahead and... Uh, it's morning time. Perfect time to kill the boss. We are going to kick that boss in his ass. What do you say? Let's go do it. I am so ready for this. You have no idea. <laughs> I've been I've been training. I've been doing some training. I I don't know what accent that was, but uh we're gonna use our key. We got this uh, horned key from the uh, windmill, I believe. We're gonna go inside. Got all these crystals here. Not really sure uh, what they are exactly. They look kind of cool. So that must be Dran, that big flying uh, hamster thing. Whoa. Be careful, Dran is being manipulated, so we have to kick his ass to break the spell. And, uh, I should have no problem doing that, because, uh, because we're so awesome. So he's the Divine Beast. I'm not really sure what makes him so divine, but, uh, it's probably his gorgeous, uh, feathers. Oh, shit. I fell right into that trap. 
Ooh. So basically the strategy here is just to use Zhao to shoot him out of the sky and then use Len to hit him with the sword. Ow! But you have to be careful because when you hit him, he might retaliate. Um, but we got this. We're so pro at this. Look at this. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm missing like crazy. There we go. I got him. Perfect. I'm not going to go behind him. I'm going to see if I can go in front of him. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. If I go behind him, he's going to kick me with his hind legs. Ow! But then... Okay, that paws a real problem. Ah, oh, jeez. I can see his asshole. <laughs> I, I can't believe somebody actually uh, textured that. <laughs> somebody actually took the time to make a texture for uh, Dran's ass. Um, asshole. Uh, okay. I should uh, take the time here to say how awesome the music is. Um, I really love the music here. Oh shit. I gotta be careful of that paw. He's almost dead, I can feel it. In my... Oh no. I'll use the stand-in powder. Um... Oh wow, that was so lucky! If Zhao died... Then we probably wouldn't have been able to, to uh, defeat him. So that was very lucky that we had that stand-in powder and we were able to kill him in one shot. Um, in one more shot. Dran, you have, uh, bloodshot eyes. I think you need to, like, go to sleep. I think it's time for you to, to head to bed, buddy. So, a monster called the Black Demon, uh, racist, is, uh, terrorizing the world, and, uh... I think he's talking about the genie, the dark genie. But, uh, moon people <laughs> created an enormous urn to seal the dark genie. That's kind of weird, they just call them moon people. But, uh, I wonder if they really live on the moon, who knows. The Matataki village, that's where we need to go next. To, uh, get the scoop, I guess, on the moon people. Alright, so we're gonna use him as a mount, apparently. Gorgeous feathers. I need one of those feathers, Dran. Give me one of your feathers, you son of a bitch. I appreciate your work, kid. <laughs> kid. Give me a feather! Aw, it's just a stupid map. Nah, the map is pretty cool. Uh, it's not just a plain map, you stupid kid. It's a, uh, it's a magical map that takes you to the place you point to instantly. It would have made more sense if they made it so that uh, Dran flew us from place to place. I don't know. That just seems more logical. But uh, we're going to go to the Matataki village. And apparently the moon people live deep in the Wise Owl Forest, which is right next to Matataki village. Matataki. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And there's also something called the Great Trent, which is a, uh, a big giant tree. I don't know if it's pronounced Trent or Treant. Some people pronounce it differently, but I call it a Trent. Hey, wh where are you going? Give me one of your feathers. Damn it. Alright, well, we're going to restore the village. 
So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, we need to talk to the NPCs to see what type of stuff they want for their house. Uh, here we go. Macho, what do you want? How should I rebuild your house? So we need the, uh, room and the barbell. Okay. You got it. The annex room and the barbell. And if we go inside, they'll most likely give us some treasure, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I see that treasure. I'm gonna get that treasure after the cutscene. What do we got? Stonebreaker. Alright, thanks. Hey, that's mine! What do you think you're doing? What's mine is mine, and, and what's yours is mine. So, so there. <laughs> They're gonna battle. It's Battle of the Wits. They're just gonna battle it out in their room. But we don't get to see it. They're a lot more private than they look. I mean, you know, they close the door so they so we can't see. It's probably because we're a kid and they don't want to show violence in front of a kid. But, uh, you know, that's understandable. Endurance plus two, thank you. Endurance plus three, yes! That is always really good. There's, uh, I know you can't see it, but there's a chest here. I can prove it, too, if I go to, go to uh, first-person mode. There it is. So, going in uh, first-person mode is really useful to spot out treasure chests that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. So... Uh, let me see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's get out of here. And talk to some of the locales in this village. Let's go to, uh... Oh wait, we need to place this first. I'm gonna place it over here for now. For now. And there's treasure. I'm gonna get that. Ooh, I see some treasure over here as well. Fish candy! That is really good. I'm gonna use that for Zhao to increase or her defense by five. And we got a treasure chest here, a gourd. I'm gonna use that for Len. Excellent. Very good. Now tell me how to rebuild your house, please, because I don't know. Oh, whoops. I just. Lots of stuff around the house. I'd like a storage cabin. Okay, and you, little girl, what do you like? You like a tricycle. All right, you got it. Oops. Oops. Wait. <clears throat> there we go. We're all set for this house. Let's go inside and see what's inside. <laughs> Ooh! Len! Impressive. Ha 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 ha. Anything for you. Here, take this. Okay. Ooh! Oh! Thank you! Yes! I needed that. Thank you very much. Uh, Dran didn't give us one because he's a greedy bastard. He has like a million feathers and he didn't give us one. I mean, what does that say about him? I mean, come on. But uh, Xena, she's... Uh, she's much more kind. Got some bread here. I'm just gonna steal your stuff. You probably don't need it because this stuff is for... Uh, adventurers like myself. And I know you guys probably don't adventure like I do, so... <laughs> Um, we're gonna use the Fruit of Eden on Zhao. Yeah, let's do it. I use Zhao a lot. She's one of my favorite characters in this game. Like I said, 
in a previous episode. Um, I like her because she does ranged attacks. That's always really useful. You can uh, um, get away from danger pretty easily. But anyway, let's go to Paige's house. We also need to visit Claude. Here's Claude. I'm gonna go there first. Good afternoon. Let's go inside and see what he has to offer. I see that little door. Look at that little door for the mouse. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> adorable, I just realized that's like a pun. Hmm. I'm usually not one to make puns because uh, puns are kind of dumb. Puns are kind of lame. But uh, we can't go inside because he's sleeping. Alright, well, maybe he sleeps during the afternoon, so we'll probably have to wait. Let's go to uh, Paige's house and see what she wants. Let me get this treasure first. Beast Buster. Nice. And an Undead Buster. <clears throat> Ooh, boy. I hope it doesn't freeze. Um, Sky Hunter. And what's this? Repair Powder. Nice. Stone Breaker. Tell me how to rebuild your house. Okay, so, so you would like a lamp. That's fine. You got it. I got it. Now you got it. There's one more NPC around here. Um, I think it's a boy. If I can find him. There he is. It's a guy. Dyke. <laughs> dyke. What a dyke. Jesus Christ. Stop being a dyke. Alright, let's uh, give him a wheel. He requested a wheel. And Paige requested a lamp. So now we got those things in order. Let's go inside and see what's inside. Good to see you. I've made a new pouch. Ooh. Thank you. Looks like it can carry a lot of items, huh? Yes! Yes! We can carry 10 more items in our inventory, which is really cool! Because my inventory kept getting full in the previous episodes. But, uh, so that's very good. Can we go to Claude's house yet? Probably not, because it's still the afternoon. I might have to wait a bit. But in the meantime, what I could do is, uh... I'm gonna remove these... things. Don't worry, I'm gonna place them back. Uh, I'm gonna remove the roads, the rivers, and the trees, because I want to place the buildings in the right places. Um, if you talk to the NPCs, they'll tell you exactly what, um... They'll tell you exactly where they want to be on the map. Or, not exactly where they want to be, but they'll give you hints. Like, for example, if you talk to Macho, he says that he wants to be next to the dungeon, which is right around here. So, I'm gonna take his house and move it right here. And my house, um, if you talk to Len's mom, she tells you that she wants to see the sun rise in the morning. So I think the house needs to be facing this direction, which I'm not, I'm not very smart, so I don't know if this is east or west, or, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm gonna place this house right over here. If you talk to Claude, he's gonna tell you that he wants to be placed next to Elnet. If you talk to Alnet, she'll tell you that she doesn't want to be next to uh, Macho. She wants to be as far away as possible because she's a racist. So, um, I'm going to place her as far away as possible. And I'm going to... 
rotate it like that. And I think Paige also wants to be away from Macho for some reason, probably because she's also racist. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna place this here. The, if you talk to the hag, she'll tell you that she wants to be placed in front of the Dran's windmill. Like, like that. That should do. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, if you talk to, uh, who was it? Dyke, I think? That son of a dyke. Um, he, he says he wants to be next to... What was it? A pond? So I'm gonna place the pond here, and that should... I think he lives... Wait. Where's Laura's house? Gina. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong house. Um... I think Paige's house is supposed to be over here, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Let's talk to the NPCs and see... Uh... Oh, maybe it was Laura that didn't want to be next to Macho. But she kind of is. I mean, Macho's right here. Hmm. Let's... Uh... Let me talk to Dyke. Okay, so he's the one that likes fishing, so we need to move the pond next to his house. Um, actually, I'm gonna move it... I'm gonna switch these houses, I think. Like... Like that. Alright, so if you talk to Odd Gaffer, he's gonna tell you that he wants to be right next to, uh as many houses as possible. I think the maximum, uh, or minimum is three. And that should do, right? Okay, good. So he's happy. Uh, there's still one more person that's not happy, and I don't know who it is. Um, where's Laura? must be inside. Yeah. Oh, it's the lousy... Oh, she doesn't want to be next to the mayor. All right. All right, all right, all right. I got you, so... I got it backwards. So... All right, I'll move Paige... Paige's house over here. And Laura's house next to Macho. And... That should be good. I like- I think I like the pond over here, instead. Oh yes, look at that. The village is looking really good now. Alright, uh, let's, uh, put some roads. Wait, are we done? Yes! Okay, that's a good sign. There's a cutscene, which means that everybody in the town is happy. Which is really good for us. Because we get a special reward from the big hamster monster er, uh, Dran yeah whew do we get one of your feathers? maybe? maybe one of your feathers? I will teach you a special technique the lethal windmill slash uh, <coughs> Dran, your breath stinks. Fuck. It, like, I can kind of, like, taste it a little. It, it kind of tastes like, uh, rotted fish guts. Ugh. Um. Charge with... The zero button? The circle button? And release it after you flash two times. Okay. Be careful though, because it eats up durability. That's fine. Thanks for that, but give me one of your feathers, you son of a bitch! 
he's not going to give us any feathers because he's, uh, he's a little bit greedy. I think I'm going to stop here because we're looking at about 25 minutes, so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Let's Play Dark Cloud. Goodbye.